What is up, investors, and welcome back to the Everything Crypto Show. I am your host, Everything Crypto, here to bring you the latest and most important news moving the crypto markets. Now, as always, please remember that nothing on this channel is financial advice. These videos are for viewer education and entertainment purposes only, so please invest responsibly as I want this community to thrive in the long run, and I love and appreciate you all. And on that note, we have a very special video today as we are going to be talking about Crow versus BNB coin more specifically how exactly i believe crow will surpass bnb eventually to become the number one exchange token and coincidentally how i believe crypto.com will surpass binance to become the number one crypto exchange on a global scale so without further ado it is time to sit back relax grab that morning cup of joe and enjoy the show now i did just want to ask that if you've not yet hit that sub and like button please consider doing so especially if you are a crypto investor as the number one goal of this channel is to bring you all of the news that you need to know on a daily basis to keep you up to speed on what is going on in these wild markets. I am on vacation until August 25th, but I am already looking forward to getting back and getting back into the regular crypto market updates. So without further ado, we are going to hop right into the content. Now we're going to start things off here by talking about the actual exchanges that Crow and the BNB token do power, which is the Crypto.com app and the Binance exchange respectively. And the reason being is that the initial investment thesis for us when we started stacking our Crow was that we believe the Crypto.com team does have the firepower and the advertisement ability to overthrow Binance and make Crypto.com the number one centralized crypto exchange on a global basis as more and more people do get on onto the platform and into the crypto space however since then the investment thesis has evolved drastically as crypto.com has done a lot to build out the infrastructure that supports the main app including the crypto.com nft platform the DeFi wallet as well as the crypto.com exchange this is not to be confused with the main app the crypto.com exchange is essentially coinbase's version of coinbase pro and it is not yet available in the us so crypto.com has really geared up the main app and all of the supporting features to make it a one-stop shop for all of your crypto needs and this does not even include the actual infrastructure behind crowcoin in the form of the crypto.org chain and the chronos chain so definitely a lot to unpack here but for starters we're just going to go ahead and compare the two platforms now at the moment crypto.com has 50 million users and we see that binance here has 90 million registered users so binance effectively has almost double the active users that crypto.com has about 80% more. Now, if we actually go ahead and take a look at these exchanges in terms of trading volume, Binance does also currently take the win here. You can see here that it has upwards of about 13 billion in terms of 24 hour trading volume. However, one thing I do want you guys to notice, and this is because coin market cap is actually owned by Binance. Binance actively pushes crypto.com down this list in terms of 24 hour trading volume. You can see here that crypto.com exchange is all the way down here in 15th with 465 mil trading volume but you can see that there are exchanges above crypto.com exchange that have way less trading volume so you got to go over here to coin gecko to get an accurate representation as binance does really do their best to push crypto.com down the list and you're going to notice here that crypto.com is currently in ninth place now this is incredibly low volume for crypto.com they could just be having it off 24 hours because generally speaking they are in this top three here and often even past coinbase in terms terms of that 24 hour volume so in my opinion this rat race is going to come down to three different exchanges and it's going to be binance it's going to be crypto.com and it's going to be ftx as sam bankman fried has been making a ton of moves acquiring a ton of exchanges in this bear market so at the moment there is definitely no arguing that binance does have the lead in terms of users as well as trading volume however as crypto investors we are not looking at the here and now we are not investing in what is the biggest at the moment moment we are investing in what we believe can be the biggest in the future and therefore give us the largest exposure to that exponential growth and price appreciation and that is why we are going with the underdog crow and there are tons of reasons that i really do believe crypto.com will be that number one global exchange now for starters here we're going to talk about the fact that crypto.com did pass the 50 million user mark in 2021 and the reason this is relevant is because that was more than a five-fold increase from the last 
time crypto.com disclosed its user stats in late 2020 so in late 2020 crypto.com had about 10 million users and then as of mid 2022 crypto.com surpassed the 50 million user mark now this is absolutely insane and a big difference between crypto.com and a larger volume rivals like coinbase ftx and binance is that marzalik's company has grown without ever taking an outside investment uh, he does say here they have had some tremendous offers, but cash has not been a limiting factor given the amount of revenue that the crypto.com team actually does make they have also discussed the potential of ipoing which would create a lot more additional funds for crypto.com but they are more focused on actually bolstering the crypto platform at the moment and their crypto payment infrastructure which i do believe is much more important for them to prioritize and additionally i am definitely a fan of how crypto.com has gone about acquiring these new users and that has been by gaining full compliance and regulatory approval in many different countries where crypto infrastructure is just being built out so just in the past two months alone they have received regulatory approval in south korea in cyprus as well as in italy now this is definitely very important i think the crypto.com team can acknowledge that as a centralized exchange they need to be compliant with all regulations in any country that they do operate in to really make sure that they can capture the growth of the crypto users in that specific region this is something that i really think binance did drop the ball on a little bit as they did not get full regulatory approval in a bunch of countries before operating and this is evident as they were actually banned in ontario as of 2020 or 2021 which is the most populated province in canada so crypto.com is putting regulation first and although a lot of people do not agree with the regulation it is definitely necessary for the crypto.com team it is amazing to see them expanding into other parts as the world to really make crypto.com a global brand in fact this strategy has been so successful that crypto.com is now on target to hit 100 million users by 2023 now this is a statement that ceo chris marzalek did make in early 2021 in february and he basically said they are on track to hit 100 million users which is two years ahead of their projected schedule this is definitely a very impressive milestone and the one thing he did say back then in february was that they are going forward to seek strategic investments in developing DeFi and nft solutions and since then they have definitely done just that so we're going to get into this in just a second but the significance of the 100 million users is definitely something that i do want to talk about real quick and we actually tweeted this just today to sort of like give an idea of why this is so important so crypto.com is expecting to have 100 million users by 2023 with a current supply of just 23 billion crow that is enough for each user to have just 230 crow in their wallet know what you own and the reason I say that is because quite simply, if we have 100 million users and all of them want to purchase Crow, which is incredibly likely as Crypto.com app does incentivize you to buy Crow for better rewards, for the Visa program, for the Crypto.com pay program, every user would only be able to have 230 crow in their wallet this does not even include the whales or just the people who hold a couple thousand crow in their crypto wallets so i definitely see even with a 23 billion float that there will be some sort of an incoming supply shock when it does come to crow as crypto.com does continue to expand i want to go back to the statement that was made here from the crypto.com ceo regarding the strategic investments in developing DeFi and nft solutions and the reason being is because this statement was made in february of 2021 so it has been almost a year and a half since this statement and i do want to go ahead and actually take a look at what they have done since then and i got to tell you right off the bat this is one of the things that i love about the crypto.com team i know a lot of people don't have good things to say about them but when they do say something when they say they're going to do something or that they're going to execute on a plan sometimes it does take a little bit of time but generally speaking they do tend to get the job done and do not disappoint so in terms of the nft infrastructure we have seen the drop of the crypto.com nft platform initially this did only support crypto.org chain nfts like the loaded lions like the cyber cubs psycho kitties the mad hares however they now have gone ahead and also supported chronos chain nfts and more recently they have actually gone on to support a ton of popular ethereum polygon and solana nfts that means you can now actually list your bored apes your mutant apes your doodles on the crypto.com nft platform 
And the way they have actually incentivized people to use Crypto.com NFT is by offering zero gas fees on buys and sells. This does actually make a lot of these NFT cheap, uh, purchases significantly cheaper. I did see an example where you could basically save about $1,000 on a mutant ape by buying it on the Crypto.com NFT platform as opposed to OpenSea. And this is how Crypto.com is going to push their NFT platform to become one of the biggest in the game. So they're not only focusing on building out the main app they are focusing on building out an entire crypto eco ecosystem to sort of make it like your one-stop shop for all your crypto needs and that is a very big part of their strategy in my opinion so the nft platform is still very early on i do expect they will continue to build it out and especially as i believe the loaded lions and the cubs are going to play a very big role in the future of the chronos chain and game which we will get into in a sec now the DeFi wallet this is another big area where crypto.com has really been trying to grow and develop this DeFi wallet and reason being is because obviously with all this regulation and compliance a lot of these centralized exchanges have been forced to cut back on their earn accounts in which people can lock up their crypto to earn some sort of a yield and in early 2022, this is what Crypto.com started doing. And a lot of people were upset and they said they were going to move their funds to other platforms like Celsius and Voyager. We did say back then that Crypto.com was simply doing it for the long-term sustainability of the platform. But a lot of people don't care about sustainability in bull markets. They only care in bear markets when other exchanges start halting their withdrawals and effectively locking up their users' funds. So in hindsight, it definitely would appear that Crypto.com was doing the responsible thing by lowering their rates on the main app and focusing on the DeFi wallet as at the moment DeFi is immune to regulation and compliance hence the name decentralized finance so definitely very very nice to see them shifting their focus from the centralized exchange to the DeFi wallet in light of regulatory changes and this DeFi wallet has made a, it made a ton of progress even since the beginning of the year so they do have the earn feature in which you can basically seamlessly hook up the crypto.com main app to the DeFi wallet transfer your assets to the DeFi wallet wallet and then you can lock them up in DeFi earn pools they offer over 25 tokens, including Crow, VVS, Tonic, Atom, and a whole slew of stable coins. They do also have their decentralized application sections with their cross-chain applications like Uniswap. They have some Ethereum apps. They also have a specific section dedicated to Kronos dApps. You can actually deposit your NFTs into the DeFi wallet. You can swap tokens, treating it like a centralized exchange. You can store your tokens here, and you can send your crypto to other people. They do also have a wallet extension for the desktop browser browser making it more of a direct competitor to metamask so definitely very cool to see them building out the infrastructure for DeFi. so we got nfts we got DeFi, and we also have the crypto.com exchange which has not yet been made available in the states this is not to be confused with the crypto.com main app this is essentially the crypto.com equivalent of coinbase pro now the reason this is so important is because a lot of people when it comes to crypto.com one major complaint is actually sort of the fees and spread structure which is definitely a little bit high however i tend to think more of crypto.com as like a bank and everyday use sort of app with the crypto pay and the crypto.com visa and the crypto.com exchange is definitely more advantageous in terms of your trading your buying and selling in fact they did announce back in march that they have rolled it out to big institutions in the u.s and the reason this is incredibly important is because these institutions are going to be incentivized to stake their crow on the crypto crypto.com exchange for a slew of benefits including a crow rebate when you pay trading fees with crow 10% APR interest paid daily access to the syndicate program which is basically an earn program a referral program bonus as well as additional crypto pay benefits so a whole ton of benefits that do incentivize you to lock up your crow and the big one here that I really like is the Crow rebate when you pay trading fees with Crow. Now, if you are an institution, if you are trading millions of dollars in crypto, it would definitely be very advantageous for you to lock up that Crow to receive a big rebate. In fact, even if this rebate was just something like 1%, 1% of a million dollars is still a butt 
ton of money. So I really do like the fact that they have begun to roll it out to institutions. I think it is going to incentivize a ton of institutions to lock up their crow. So now we're talking about having 100 million users on the main app, and we have not even yet accounted for the exchange that has not even rolled out in the US yet. So definitely something I am looking forward to. Also do keep in mind that as I am a member of the crypto.com affiliate program, if you do use my link to sign up for the exchange when it does go live, you will receive some additional bonuses. And I am running a special right now where anybody who does actually sign up for crypto.com main app or exchange using my link will not only receive the bonus rewards through the affiliate program, but I will also give you the rewards that I received from the affiliate program. So you will effectively get double bonus rewards. Suffice to say, I am very excited for this to go live in the States. We already do have it here in Canada, but obviously the States has like 10 times the population that Canada does. So actually launching in it there and having big institutions involved will definitely be another bullish move for Crow. So we got NFTs, we got DeFi, we got the Crypto.com exchange, and we also have GameFi and the Kronos chain. You can really see how all of these products are built together to really create an ecosystem that is that one-stop shop for everything you need crypto. And this is the goal of the Crypto.com team. The Kronos chain is the most recent development for the Crypto.com team. And effectively, this is the first EVM compatible chain built on Cosmos, focusing on DeFi, NFTs, and web. Web3 Gaming, which in my opinion is going to be a very big avenue of growth for the Kronos chain. They have already made Kronos play interoperable with the best two gaming engines in the industry in the form of Unity and Unreal. If you guys have ever played Fortnite or your kids play Fortnite, that is built on the Unreal engine. Unity does have majority of the mobile games built on their software. So they have definitely made the right moves to get the right software for Kronos play. And it definitely would appear that they are trying to integrate the loaded line lions into the Kronos chain as they did just do the great crossing where they migrated the lions from the crypto.org chain to the Kronos chain. So definitely very bullish on the lions, very bullish on the Kronos chain. And we're actually going to talk about the Kronos chain in respect to the Binance smart chain now, because this is definitely another area of competition between Binance and Crypto.com. They both have their centralized exchanges, and they do also have their very own respective blockchains that do host a slew of decentralized applications. So at the moment, you're going to notice that Binance is in second place up here with $5.82 in total value locked. And then we have Kronos down in seventh place here with one. 1.23 billion in TVL. Now, the first thing that I will direct your attention to right off the bat is the fact that the Binance chain was actually created in November, sorry, late October. Yeah, let's just say November 1st of 2020. So the Binance chain has already been out for almost two years at this point, about a year and three quarters. And if we actually take a look at when the Kronos chain was created, which was just last November, that means the Kronos chain is just about 10 months old, not even. So the Binance chain is definitely a lot older than the Kronos chain. The Kronos chain is still in its infancy stages of that big, big growth. And the amount of development that has actually been built out on the Kronos chain is actually absurd. In my opinion, we actually have a bunch of DEXs, lending platforms, yield, yield aggregators, liquid staking solutions. Uh, we have NFT platforms in the form of Ibisu's Bay. Like the infrastructure behind the Kronos chain is very, very strong. And the crypto.com team does support it with the Kronos Excel program. So I'm definitely very bullish on Kronos. Now, once again, just like the main exchanges, Binance does have that lead in terms of total value locked. However, if we actually do take a look at how they have reacted since the bear market, what you're going to notice here is that if we look at Binance, they are effectively back at levels that they were not at since like April of 2021, okay? So they did hit a peak of about $20 billion in TVL in May of 2021. Uh, they didn't even really wait for the bear market to hit until they saw that drop off. In fact, by the time the bull market was at its peak, they were only at about $14.4 bill in TVL. And they are now all the way back here at like March, April 2021 levels. Now, in that same amount of time, the Kronos chain has also taken a hit going all the way from 4 4 billion in TVL back down to 1.2 billion in TVL at the moment of this recording. However, we are only back at December of 2021 levels. So the Kronos chain has actually held up incredibly strong when compared to other chains. Now, obviously, the BNB chain does have about 
uh, let's say five times the TVL that the Kronos chain has. But there is one thing that we are not mentioning here that a ton of people do seem to forget, and that is the Crypto.org chain. So as Crypto.com has been making really a big push for the Kronos chain, I feel like a lot of people have just ignored the Crypto.org chain, and it is definitely not something that should be ignored as it has a total of 4.5 billion crow delegated. Now, keep in mind that with 23 billion crow left in the flow, that is just under 20% of all crow actually committed to the crypto.org mainnet now the reason this is relevant is because the bnb token only powers the binance smart chain while the crow coin powers not only the chronos chain but also the crypto.org mainnet so what we're going to go ahead and do is actually factor in the total value locked across both chronos blockchains and the way we're going to do this is take the total amount of crow delegated which at the moment is 4.552 billion and multiply that by the price of crow which is 0.14 465. We're going to even lowball this and make it 0.14 to actually give a more conservative number. And when we actually put that in the calculator, we do get this number here of 6.3728 million. So if we actually add up the total value locked in USD calculations for the crypto.org mainnet and the Kronos chain, you're actually looking at a total value locked here upwards of 1.86 billion amongst both of these chains that are powered by the same token being crow in reality if you actually combine the chronos chain with the crypto.org chain it is actually ahead of polygon in terms of tvl and very close behind solana as well as avalanche i do fully expect that with time as the chronos chain continues to be built out on that chronos will surpass not only avalanche and tron but also the binance smart chain so there is definitely a ton of reasons that i do believe that crow will surpass bnb in the long run and obviously this would make the next big question what prices can we expect from crow when it does finally reach and surpass the market cap of binance so this was part one of the video where i kind of break down the fundamentals of exactly why i believe crow can become bigger than bnb and in part two we are going to get into the very very juicy stuff and really take a look at the price comparisons use relative market cap calculations as well as the realistic total supply of crow not the supply that is on the internet because it's actually quite incorrect so we're going to go ahead and do all of that in part two and really calculate exactly how i got down to my price targets for crow so i hope you guys did enjoy part one of this two-part series i hope to catch you guys all in the next one peace out for now